Hey everyone, it's Russell here, and we're going to take a quick look at Qualcomm's Snapdragon 800 reference tablet. This is not a commercial product. This is a developer reference tablet that is made specifically to show off the Snapdragon 800 processor. If you're familiar with the HTC One or the Samsung Galaxy S4, then you're vaguely familiar with the, the younger brother of this processor, which is the Snapdragon 600. Uh, the Snapdragon 800 has a slightly faster processor, a better GPU, and is really just designed for kind of the next generation of hardware. Uh, through Snapdragon 800, we will see higher resolution screens uh, with, uh, you know, just, just generally more powerful quad-core processors that are capable of, you know, 2 gigahertz with no problem, uh, up to 21 megapixel camera that can be put on the back of this thing. There's a lot that is possible with the Snapdragon 800 that's not possible with the Snapdragon 600. Uh, so we just uh, decided to take a quick look at the tablet and see what it would do. This isn't really an indicator of uh, real world performance because it's not optimized by a hardware manufacturer. This isn't something that HTC and Samsung have come in and modified with their operating system. This is running a really bare bones version of Android, uh, just barely enough to you know, kind of have a test environment. But what it gives us an idea of is how quickly applications load and things like that. So we decided to go ahead and test it out against, uh, you know, a, a Tegra 3 based Surface RT just for a quick load example. This is Jetpack Joyride and on the left we've got the Snapdragon, on the right we've got the Tegra 3. And uh, it loaded really quickly on the Snapdragon 600 and just to give you an example of, of you know what kind of performance difference you're looking at across generations this Tegra 3 is still trying to load and by the time it does the Snapdragon 800 could have loaded three times